Since ancient times, education has held great significance in Indian society. The Indian subcontinent was home to some of the oldest universities in the world such as Takshala in 5 BCE and Nalanda in 5 CE. Archaeological evidence and accounts by foreign travellers prove that many scholars visited India in search of knowledge. Unfortunately, colonial rule damaged our well-established education system and India, once known as Vishwaguru or spiritual teacher of the world, started struggling with low rates of literacy. In 1947, only 19% of the population was literate and higher education remained outside the reach of many. After independence, the government realized that traditional universities were not equipped to deal with the increasing demand for education and in 1961, the government of India appointed a committee headed by Dr. D.S. Kothari, the then chairperson of the University Grants Commission, to suggest alternate means of education. The Kothari committee recommended that the University of Delhi start correspondence courses and in 1962, the School of Correspondence Courses and Continuing Education was begun as a pilot project with Dr. Ram Bihari as its first director. In 2004, it came to be known as the School of Open Learning. The school began its journey with just 900 students and a few undergraduate programs in Humanities, Commerce and Science. Subsequently, under the leadership of principals Dr. Beg and Dr. Rudradat, the institution saw a phenomenal increase in enrollment as well as the introduction of postgraduate programs in arts and commerce. Today, it boasts of having more than 500,000 students on its roles and a variety of courses. The undergraduate programs are now structured in keeping with the new National Education Policy 2020 guidelines where, in addition to academic subjects, students study skill enhancement courses as well as value addition courses. Over the years, School of Open Learning has also expanded its physical reach by establishing three regional centres in Delhi, the South Study Centre at South Motibag, the Keshavpuram Center in Northwest Delhi and the upcoming Tahirpur Center in East Delhi. During the COVID pandemic, the School of Open Learning reinvented itself to face the challenge of connecting with students isolated at home and deprived of personal contact classes. School of Open Learning took the first major step towards technology adoption, recording and making video lectures available to students through its website. Today, its motto has transformed from education at your doorstep to education in your palm or phone. Delhi Biswidyalay School of Open Learning, Department of Distance and Canteen Education, apne saat swaradim vars complete kar raha hai. Is aosar par hum apne sabhi sahiyogi, sitchak bandhu, karmchariyon, aur sabhi vidyarthiyon ka hardik abhar prakat karna chahte hain. A robust academic support system is now in place at SOL in the form of academic counselling sessions at its various study centres, study material distribution, online remedial classes, fee concessions for economically weaker students and library services that include an e-library, book bank facility, internet access and endless access. The School of Open Learning also supports its students in their various other endeavours. The entrepreneurship cell provides a platform to assist and nurture students who aspire to set up their own businesses. It connects students to the government schemes, trains them in public procurement policy, and also provides marketing assistance. The School of Open Learning also has a placement cell that connects students with employers in relevant fields through placement drives that are held at regular intervals. 
The placement cell also organizes special drives for differently abled students, including those from various other colleges of Delhi University. Since its inception, the School of Open Learning has never lost sight of its social mission to provide access to higher education to students, especially those from the marginalized sections of society. However, in an increasingly globalized world, getting transformed by emerging technologies such as mixed reality, artificial intelligence and quantum computing, it has also become necessary to equip students with the skills and knowledge to find sustainable livelihoods and contribute to national growth in the 21st century. To meet these challenges, in 2022, the Department of Distance Education, the Faculty of Open Learning and the Open Learning Development Centre were established under the ages of the Campus of Open Learning, School of Open Learning. Six new programmes MBA, BMS, BBA, FIA, BA Honours Economics, Master in Library Science and Bachelor in Library Science were launched and another BA Honours Psychology is set to begin in the next academic session. Among these, the professional programs aim to train students to become able administrators, policy makers and entrepreneurs. I congratulate you on the occasion of 60th anniversary Diamond Jubilee celebration of Campus of Open Learning, Department of Distance and Continuing Education and School of Open Learning of University of Delhi. And this congratulations is not only for University of Delhi, this is for whole of India because this is the first open and distance learning institute of India. So congratulations to all who are involved with open and distance learning education. The Open Learning Development Centre is engaged in helping the School of Open Learning make the transition from a correspondence-based delivery mode to the distance delivery mode designing new courses, organizing training and capacity building workshops and undertaking sponsored research projects. To help implement these goals, the department has a well-equipped library, computer lab and educational technology lab with state-of-the-art equipment. With an overall mission to promote the use of information and communication technologies in higher education, the Educational Technology Lab is actively engaged in the design and development of instructional videos and web-based resources and dissemination of e-resources. It organizes technical training programs for both faculty members and administrative support staff. Experts from industry are associated as guest faculty to maintain a strong connection between the student's education and the real world. दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी के भी सौ साल पूरे हुए आपके भी साठ साल पूरे हुए दोनों अपने आप में एक माइलस्टोन है सौ साल और साठ साल इंसान की जिंदगी में भी साठ और सौ दोनों माइलस्टोन आते हैं कि साठ साल तक जो चला जैसे हम चले अगर अगले चालीस साल वैसे चलेंगे तो सौ तक नहीं पहुंचेंगे अगर हम साठ के बाद अपने को नहीं बदलेंगे तो सौ तक नहीं पहुंचेंगे चुनौतियां अलग है संभावनाएं अलग है अपेक्षाएं अलग है इसी कारण से आप लोगों के साठ साल पूरे हुए तो अब जो नए अवसर हैं उनके अनुसार हमको काम करना होगा करना चाहिए जिस कारण से हम अपने स्टूडेंट्स का ज्यादा भला कर सकते हैं ये एक बात है जो ध्यान में रखने की बात है टू कीप अकेडमिक स्टैंडर्ड एट पार विद बेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड एंड लर्न फ्रॉम देर एक्सपर्टीज द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिस्टेंस एजुकेशन साइंड एम ओ यूज विद वेस्टर्न सिडनी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑस्ट्रेलिया Bryan Campus of Business and Economics at the University of North Carolina, USA, the International Association of Project Managers at the Principality of Liechtenstein, as well as the British Council. The bouquet of programs it offers now range from traditional humanities programs to professional programs. With its roots in strong traditional Indian values, this pioneering institution has embarked on a journey to modernize and improve the quality of distance education in the country.
नमस्कार ऑन दी ओकेजन ऑफ डायमंड जुबली सेरेमनी ऑफ डेली यूनिवर्सिटी स्कूल ऑफ ओपन लर्निंग आई वॉन्ट टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ईच एंड एवरी एम्प्लॉयी ऑफ डेली यूनिवर्सिटी हु हैज़ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड फॉर क्रेडिबल हायर एजुकेशन इन द एरिया ऑफ डिस्टेंस एजुकेशन आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑल द प्रीवियस वाइस चांसलर एंड द प्रजेंट वाइस चांसलर फॉर देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन हिरक जयंती के इस शुभ अवसर पर मैं सभी साथी और विद्यार्थियों को बधाई देता हूं। ऐसे शुभ समय पर शामिल होना हम सभी के लिए गर्व की बात है मैं उन सारे शिक्षक कर्मचारी और विद्यार्थी भूत और वर्तमान सभी को तहे दिल से धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगा जिन्होंने अपने मेहनत और बल से भारत की प्रथम मुक्त शिक्षा विद्यालय को इस मुकाम पर पहुंचाया आइए हम सब मिलकर दिल्ली विश्वविद्यालय की मुक्त शिक्षा परिसर को और ऊंचाइयों तक पहुंचाने का प्रण लें।